hypothetically, um, I should have a update video coming out, um, for tea for my one year. And I filmed two of them. <laughs> one in March, one in April. Uh, and neither of them were to my liking. And the one actually I can't use because I filmed it in March thinking that that was my one year and my one year is in April. So, um, yeah. Anyway, I thought I would film a quick update instead, just a general life one, because why not? Why not? I need to kind of ease myself back into editing, because I haven't done it in a while. And I thought this would be a nice short and sweet video to do. Sorry for the hat, I guess. Uh, it's, it's gay, um, but my hair is really bad and I'm trying to train it over to the side because uh, I have work in like an hour <laughs> and I can't fix my hair so I'm like oh cap it let's try it I I made myself a binder skin tone uh, I like it it fits well it's uh, my version of the GC2B binders because as much as I love them and I love mine if I can make mine for like under 10 bucks and it's the same I'm gonna do it plus I I like I did my own, my own little tweaks to it like uh, larger arms smaller uh, this and a wider neck because um, I, I found a lot of the times with my gray one it would uh, if I was wearing a v-neck it would end up popping up I also got really into plants come summer uh, in the past like, two weeks, I've adopted uh, about eight, <laughs> and uh, I also have about ten spider plant babies from uh, another one. And then I took an aloe plant, which I just recently repotted, because um, I'm trying, uh, it was in a much larger thing, and apparently they're supposed to be root bound, or not root bound per se, but uh, they don't need as much space. For the roots um, so I'm trying a smaller pot because they hadn't they've been like staying alive but they haven't grown so I'm gonna try that and then if not I'll transfer it to a larger pot see if that helps but there, there's not much roots on them yet uh, after that I ended up taking in um, a few succulents a water plant and I don't know if you can see it back there and um, just this past anime north I grabbed one of these guys fine Symbol. Just recently, I made a pot of succulents because uh, I think they're my so far. Well, not my favorite actually. I think my favorite plants to take care of are my spider plants. So, and I'm really looking forward to get it making um, some macrame bas hanging baskets to hang them up because. <laughs> When I go off to uni, I don't know what I'm going to do because I just keep taking plants in and it's not going to stop anytime soon. Another update is that um, while I've been kind of eh about posting, uh, I've been getting ready for um, university, kind of. I had a lot of stuff a month or two back to get finished, like portfolio work, um, but I was accepted. So that's all cool. Ryerson for the um, performance production program. So come August, end of August, early September, uh, I'm going to be living in Toronto for university, which is going to be fun because I'll have a lot more cooler things to vlog um, and there's going to be a lot more cons that I'll be, I'm going to be able to go to because I'll have like I won't have to be coming from the middle of nowhere. So yay. <laughs> um, meaning I'm definitely gonna be at Fan Expo. Um, Cause why not? I'm gonna be like 15 minutes away. Uh, I think there's also a talk about going to a con in November. I'll keep you guys posted on that uh, the more I know. Uh, I might be going to, I think it's Otakuthon is the next one coming up. Um, I think it's in Montreal. Might be going to that one early August. Uh, 
but I'm not too sure because I wasn't initially planning to. Getting into some real talk stuff, uh, essentially all of April and May, I had I had planned to like get on top of my and like start my A game for video posting because I finally had the time to, uh, and I hit like a really big um, like down like freaking what. I don't know what people use terminology for it, uh, but my depression ended up getting like really out of whack. Um, and I mean, like, try and I've been on a hunt to try and find something that works for me. Uh, and so far, nothing has helped everything I've been on. So I'm like, oh, that's lovely. Um, but so for those two months, it was absolutely like, it was pretty much sleeping all the time, I was constantly tired. Uh, and just recently in the past week or so, I've kind of like come back out of it, uh, well, a week or two weeks. Um, so I'm like, yay, I'm living again, which is why I ended up going out and buying a bunch of plants because, you know, they they make you feel better. There's, uh, one sweater from Kokopi shop. Uh, on Instagram, it's super cute. I want to buy their stuff. It's like sad teens with happy plants. I'm like, uh, same. <laughs> if that ain't me, I don't know what it. What else has happened recently? Oh yeah, end of May was uh, Maya Mari's one year anniversary, uh, so that was lit. So Wednesday was Mari's prom. We I have photos on, up on my Instagram, and there's like a glow up photo of like our last prom uh, versus this one, and I'm like. Looks so much better. Oh, I've, I'm like, I'm working to take the time off work, but I'm so trying to get up to go to Pride. And actually, I'm gonna show you some fucking merch I bought. <laughs> I have walked in and I'm like, fuck, I'm not gonna buy this. And I ended up walking out with it. And I'm like, it's got peace, rainbow, it's lanyard. It says, love who you want on it and that. I'm like, that's pretty dope. Sorry, I, it's rainbow. I, it's a, I went out with that. I'm like, it's rainbow. I gotta buy it. I don't, I don't make the rules. Sorry, dude. I got two pins to put on. I, I didn't want to go overboard by all the pins, right? But I got two pins on. <laughs> uh, of course, I was so happy they had something that was trans related. I'm like, fuck, man. That's lit. And then I got this one revolution with love i was like oh shit i never realized that i thought it was really cool i was like that's so sweet that's sick i can't wait to fucking deck out i can't yeah so if you guys are going to toronto pride uh i'm hoping to be there the 23rd to 25th definitely for the 25th for the pride march i want to get up there for the 23rd for the trans march but i don't know if it'll happen uh and then i just got some sick patches from it and then if anyone's going to pride and has face paint hit me up because i'm fucking i'm doing it i'm going all out i'm so excited it's my first pride i'm like toronto pride and instead of going up to england i'm hoping to go see brendan yuri kinky boots broadway <gasps> I can't wait. I'm really, really lit for that. I can't, I'm like, because I've been bugging my mom ever since it came out. Or not ever since, like, Kinky Boots came out. But, like, ever since the truth come out, Brendan Urie on Broadway with Kinky Boots. I was like, fuck. Fuck, that's me. I gotta go. I'm like, like, part of me is like, theater student, wanna go see more f fucking musical theater. And then the other part of me is like, I've seen Brendan Urie for... I think four or five years straight, ever since he's come, every time he comes within the area for me to like legit just drive to and I end up like going, I'm gone. I, I've gone to see Panic at the Disco, I think four years running, maybe five. And I think there was like twice in one year. Anime North, um, I got no footage whatsoever of Anime North. Um, I was so busy working up to it. Um, I had almost no time to meet anyone. I was so freaking disappointing for that. Cause I was like, I was really excited to like, cause I had a bunch of stuff planned to do, meet people, attend stuff. But I, I work Cafe Nocturne and I love it. 
but it takes up a lot of time. I just had a lot of things that weren't working out for me that weekend, so I ended up not meeting anyone that I wanted to meet and like not, not doing any photos, photo shoots. It was just like, it, it was pretty disappointing. Uh, I only got to go into the convention center for I think an hour, less than, and so it was, it was that. Oh, another thing is, I started working out, yeah, uh-huh. Probably can't see it, but I haven't been doing it very long. Or, I tried starting, all right. I tried starting in April. <laughs> mm, that, because I told you guys uh, earlier, it ended up not working out, um, but, eh, working out. <laughs> but, uh, I'm picking it up again. And this time, I was doing, like, a full body routine, which I'm gonna start doing again, because I really, really like it. Liked it. It made me feel really good. Just trying to start, start little, little bit. Uh, I'm just, like, doing arms whenever I remember it. And I'm hoping with that, it'll make me, like, start craving to do it more. Other than that, I am planning to like legitimately have an update video coming out soon for you guys because a lot of has happened. I have a lot of questions I want to cover. I have another whole like I have a whole other video I want to talk about like that one year mark because I want one I want one video for like those physical things and like one year ooh and then I want another thing of it like it's been one year on T like and how am I feeling? So I have two separate videos planned for that. Um, I'm really excited to film them, it's just trying to find a good time to, um, and then it's also going to be editing them, so I want to have them up in the next week or two, but I wanted to have them up two months ago, so other than that, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in my next video.